today on Be Something Wonderful. Make this one shift to manifest and live your dream life now. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back and good morning from the studios of Be Something Wonderful here in Las Vegas. Big video for you today. Again, another busy morning in sessions, and I delayed the video a little bit so I could, so I could uh, talk about some of the things that we discussed this morning and really the emails that we've been receiving the last few days from some of you that have watched the videos over the last few days, starting with, and maybe not even starting with, that video of that client that manifested her visa after three rejections right? Standing in her knowing, standing in her new reality. I want to talk about this today and more. Here's some of the things we talked about this morning. Nothing is as it seems. In other words, this whole idea of 3D reality and everything being an illusion simply means that those changing appearances, those changing forms, the, the projection and reflection that you think is out there that is separate from you is not what it seems. There's a greater reality behind those appearances and you are that reality. Powerful. So it means that you're not seeing, perceiving, and experiencing the world and others as they are, but as you are. Nothing new here. We've talked about this, but we're going to hit it in a more powerful way today. In, in other words, you're experiencing reality as who you are. I am. What, how you're defining yourself, right, as that infinite being. That's the illusion. In other words, there's no separation. We're going to say it again. There's no out there. It's you out there, right? You are the actor in your own movie that you're directing, that you're producing, that you're editing, that you're writing, all of it, right? It's all you that I am awareness, that consciousness, that all that isness, the one. That's what's real or reality. It's not a question anymore. This client really got it this morning. It's not a question about what's real or unreal or what's real and imagined or what's real and unmanifested or what's real and manifested. Right, or unmanifested. None of those distinctions are made anymore. It's all you, the changing forms of people, events, conditions, thoughts, feelings, and things are not what they seem to be. They're who you seem to be. They're who you believe yourself to be, who you assume yourself to be. Your perceptions and expectations and views and vantage points of reality. That's powerful. Just like in a night dream, right? Just whether you're dreaming it, imagining it, perceiving it physically, it's all an experience within you. Just like a night dream, those people, events, and circumstances feel real. And then you wake up and say, it was just a dream. But where did it come from? From within you. It was a real experience, a real dream that you were dreaming, right? But whether you're dreaming it, whether you're imagining it, or whether you're perceiving the physical experience of being with your, your dream partner, of having the house, the money, the kids, flying and traveling or whatever you want to do, whether you're dreaming it, whether you're imagining it, right? Of dreaming, imagining, or whether you're physically living it, perceiving it, it's all an experience within you. Hear this, there's no difference between any of these. There's nothing, that we're not making distinctions now between real versus imagined, real versus the illusion, real versus fake, real versus not manifested. I am is the only reality. I am is dreaming. I am is imagining. I am is living and physically experiencing it. Wow. It's all an experience within you as consciousness, awareness, imagination that I am. It's about who and the who is you, as Loki in that TV series says. I am, right? Every other person, every other event, every other condition, thought, feeling, and thing is not what it seems or appears to be. It is as you seem or appear to be. 
whether you're dreaming it, whether you're imagining it, whether you're physically experiencing it, it's all an experience within you. There's nothing out there. Wow. <laughs> Powerful. So you are not seeing, perceiving, or experiencing anything or anyone as it is. This is what we believe sometimes, right? But as you are, or in other words, as you dream, imagine, and perceive yourself to be. As you are, or as you dream, imagine, or perceive yourself to be. Wow, that's powerful. You are imagining, dreaming, and perceiving your 3D world experience right now. There's no difference. This 3D experience, this projection and reflection is your dream. You're imagining it. it these are all one. <laughs> it's all a dream. It's all a reflection. It's a, it, it doesn't mean it's not real. It's a real experience, but it's not reality. I am the reality behind all of it. The only difference is you judge what you imagine as a, as a physical experience more real or reality than what you imagine within. Do you see it? You, the, the only difference is what, you judge what you imagine, what you're dreaming right now, what you're projecting or reflecting as a physical experience more real or reality than what you imagine within as a non-physical experience. The paradox is they're both within you. Same with the night dream, right? You don't even believe that's real. You go, oh, that wasn't real. It was just a dream, right? So you only judge the physical experience as real, but they're all, they're, they're all real. They're all real experiences, but the reality is the I am imagining, dreaming it, physically experiencing it. The paradox is they are both are all within you. There's absolutely no out there, out there. That's the, that's the only reason you don't see it or perceive it immediately in 3D. That's big. Because you believe that physical experience is more real or reality. And the other experience, the dream, the night dream, you imagining it within, right, in your imagination in the state of kind of sleep, that's somehow less real or not reality. Wow, <laughs> that's powerful. So whoever, you so whoever you choose to clear and announce yourself to be is your reality. Well, that was demonstrated now by that client a few days ago, by other clients. I'm getting emails. They're getting it no matter what. You choose, announce it, and declare it. It is reality. It must be. 3D reality, that projection, that dream, that imaginal scene, that reflection must yield to who you're being unless you judge according to appearance. In other words, unless you choose according to appearance. This is what Ernest Holmes says. When spirit or I am chooses, it simply announces it, announces it is a certain thing. God, when God chooses, God becomes it. It's reality. Judge with righteous judgment. In other words, choose to clear and announce yourself to who you announce yourself to be, no matter what, who you prefer to be, no matter what, judge righteously and allow that to be the only reality. You're not choosing among realities or identities of fulfillment and non-fulfillment, wanted and unwanted, and good and bad. That's what we believe. That's what, or real or unreal, right? You're not choosing among that. It's all fulfillment, it's all reality, it's all the reality of I am. You're, but, but you're declaring what reality is, you're choosing your experience of reality and announcing it as so. Hear it again, because we think we're choosing among something that's wanted or unwanted, good or bad, fulfilled or not fulfilled. It's all fulfillment, it's all that infinite being that you are experiencing itself as that limitless being. Right? You're not choosing among realities or identities of fulfillment and non-fulfillment, of wanted and unwanted, of good and bad, but from only fulfillment. All those you are all realities. You are all identities. You're all images. All of those exist within you. It's all fulfillment. So what are you doing then? You're declaring what reality is. Do you see it? You're, just, you're, you're declaring this is reality now, not a choice among infinite realities, but what, what uh, uh, meaning 
non-fulfillment and fulfillment, but I'm unfulfillment, that I'm all realities, that I'm all beings, that I'm a multidimensional being, that I'm not separate from any of them. So what I declare reality is, that's what it must be, right? You're choosing your experience of reality and announcing that that is so because experiencing is reality. So whatever you say your experience is, must be reality. That's powerful today. God only knows fulfillment. That's the only choice. It's only fulfillment. God already chose for you. That's why in Luke 20 and 12, 32, Jesus says, do not be afraid, little flock. In other words, all those little thoughts of fear and doubt and anxiety, right? For your father has chosen gladly to give you the kingdom. It's already yours. It's all yours. You're choosing among fulfillment. You're an infinite being choosing how to express that infiniteness. You're a limitless being choosing how to express that limitlessness, right? As a physical 3D projection or, or projection or experience, right? You are given the free will to choose how to experience that fulfillment that I am. Your choice or word is the word of God. It's law, it's reality and the announcement of it. Because you are giving it, you have been given it all. That you're fully fulfilled. You get the free will to choose how to enjoy that fulfillment, how to experience it, right? That's why Jesus said, you did not choose me, but I chose you. You have already been, you are the chosen one to experience it all, to be do and have what you imagine, assume, and declare yourself to be and have. You were chosen already to have it all. That's powerful. Take a stand. Like that client a few days ago that, that really she has set off a beautiful chain of events among all of you where we're hearing from you in emails and in, in, in our sessions of how that, those videos, a series of videos really the last few days have affected you, have moved you right? You've made this one shift that's changed everything. That many of you are now deciding, I'm living my dream life now. I'm going to make the one shift to seeing things as you desire to see them, knowing that your choice is law. Your, your word is law. What you declare as reality is law, is reality. Wow, that's powerful. Take a stand as I am, the one and only source and creator of your reality, your experience, your illusion. From the knowing an awareness that out there is not separate from you. That the changing forms of people, events, and conditions, thoughts, feelings, and things are not what they seem to be. You're not going to try to manifest. You're not resisting appearances. You're not trying to change manifested conditions. You're declaring what they are. You're choosing what they are. I know in some of you still persist in the question, but Tom, how do I practically choose? How do I practice? That just keeps you in, in an unwanted reality, it keeps you in the horizontal looking at, I am not what I want to be. I need a practical advice on how to get there. You are already it. It's a choice. So you keep choosing that I am not. How do I get there? I need a practical roadmap. I need to get there practically. Pra practically is what's kept you in that horizontal limited experience, believing that there's a practical way to deal with those things. Remember, there's no practical way to deal with that illusion. It's not what they, it seems to be. And so if you deal with it practically, you're, it's changing as you're dealing with it. You are reality. There's nothing out there. You don't have to try to manifest. God doesn't try. You don't have to resist appearances. You don't have to change manifested conditions. You already are all possible identities, realities, and outcomes, wishes and desires. You're all of them. You shift to occupy and become what you desire in the announcing, in the choosing, in the imagining, in the experiencing of it. It's law. It was demonstrated in that video of that client after rejected three times for a visa, she imagined going up the vertical, right? Imagine that, you know what? I'm choosing my reality now. And then some of you were still asking, but I need a practical steps. That was the video that showed you how to do it. There's nothing more than that, right? There's nothing more than that, that you are it in the choosing and announcing of it, in the imagining and experiencing of it. God doesn't will or have to make things happen right? God doesn't have to will things to happen. It is the will of God that all things be. Do you see it? God doesn't will anything to happen. He doesn't make anything happen. 
It's the will of God that, all th that you are all things, that you are all identities, that you are absolute fulfillment. God's will is absolute fulfillment, that all things are possible. It doesn't have to will. That's God's will for you and for, forevermore, that you're already all things. Time and space, that experience of time and space and change, allow the experience to take place in the all that isness, in that one that you are. That's what time and space is. It allows the experience to take place. It allows you to have that experience in time and space and change. Go to the end. Take a stand and stay there, right? Ch changing appearances must yield to who you're being. Jesus demonstrated this, that, that when they were looking for him, if you remember when they were looking for Jesus to capture him, right? Judas gave him up, right? And, and so Jesus knowing, this is what it was said in scripture in John 18, Jesus knowing all things that were coming upon him. Look at the wording here, knowing all things coming upon him. The, the appearance is coming down on you, just like the client a few days ago, where, where she, was, she was in the immigration office. They said, it's going to take a month. Then they rejected it a third time. It looked like it's impossible now that she's not going to be able to see her family that following Saturday. She's not going to be able to travel out of the country until she gets this sorted. That, that she's not going to be able to stay in, the, in, in that country that she wants to stay in and, and work because her, her, her studies didn't match her work. All of that with those appearances. She knew all of those things were coming down, right? And, 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 but, and here's what Jesus says when they come looking for him. Jesus, all things that were coming upon him, went forth and said to them, whom do you seek? Who are you looking for? That's your I am awareness. What do you want? Who are you? What are you seeking? Even with all those appearances coming down. And then they answered, Jesus, the Nazarene. Jesus answers, I am. In scripture, it says, I am he. But that he was added after. Right, that he was not in the original translation. It's just, I am. Who are you looking for? Jesus the Nazarene. I am. There's Jesus saying, I am here. In other words, I choose my new reality. I choose, despite the appearances, I surrender to my wish fulfilled. I surrender to my I amness. I surrender to my new choice. Do you see it? So when he said to them, I am, this is what it says in scripture, they drew back and fell to the ground. Look at this, the awesome power of choosing and make, taking a stand in your I am. Those 3D conditions, those appearances must change. They must yield to your choice. Just like that client, just like it yielded to her choice. Right? Her choice of that, that there was an error made and that actually she does, her, her visa did get approved and it didn't take 30 days, it took three days. It yielded to that awesome power of declaring your reality, saying, here I am, right? Surrendering to fulfillment, right? They drew back and fell to the ground. The awesome power of choosing and taking a stand in your I amness and taking a stand in your choice. Jesus asked again, right? Now, here it is demonstrating it again, doubling down, reaffirming your choice, even as those conditions continue to go on about you. Jesus asked again, you are reaff that's you reaffirming your choice, you taking a stand as that one and only creator of your reality, as appearances yield to who you are being, right? Whom do you see? Jesus the Nazarene. Jesus answers, I told you that I am he. Again, he was added later. So if you seek me, let these go their way. In other words, let the changing appearances, the unwanted realities, the thoughts, the feelings, the conditions go their way, right? Let, let those changing things and stand in your knowing that reality has changed, that you're the only reality, that it must be you. It's the only choice. Surrendering, let everything else go. Let the, it doesn't matter. Those appearances must go their way now, right? They must change into what you want. Allow the appearances of unwanted conditions to be, to go their way, to change into what you desire, right? True, true demonstration of surrendering to your wish fulfilled in your new identity. 
to your new reality and to your choice. That's what Jesus demonstrated there. So that's the, that's the one shift, the one shift saying, you know what? I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not looking out there for evidence of who I am. I'm going to decide who I am. I'm going to take a stand in that and allow those conditions to fall around me, to change around me, to yield to who I'm being. I'm going to make that choice no matter what. This is the that one shift to manifest and live your dream life now. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, The Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen and being, being part of our membership channel. Don't forget, we just announced we have our, our fourth live stream of the year coming on the end of April, April 28th, 2024 at 9 a.m. in the morning on a Sunday morning. We're going to come to you live here from the studios and Be Something Wonderful to talk about topics and questions that are of interest to you. I'll also answer questions on the chat like I have been doing in the last few live streams. Stay tuned for this live event. If you're a member, join us. If you're not a member, check out the link below. Creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Until next time, we'll see you soon.